we have a goal that's never been done before. We want to take the first picture of a black hole. Okay, we're ready. Something that struggles with all of its might to be unseen. Four, three, two, one, zero! Blast off! Award-winning astrophysicist Heino Falke is part of one of the greatest scientific achievements of all time, capturing the first ever image of a black hole. He writes all about it in the book Light into the Darkness. And he's currently featured in the very popular Netflix documentary The Edge of All We Know. Heino, good morning. Good morning to morning. Chicago. We were just talking about black holes earlier this week. We have an expert here. What's in a black hole? Do we everything, know? <laughs> everything. It's just a huge amount of mass compressed into a tiny little point. And so you can throw everything into a black hole and all that remains is just, you know, mass and darkness. So now you have an image. Did that answer some mystery for you or is there something about the image that surprised you? To actually see it? You know, black holes were dreams, were science fiction, were fantasy for 100 years. Even Einstein, even though he predicted, his theory predicted it, he didn't believe they would exist. And now we actually can see them. And that was just so an amazing moment. It was the first time you would look into a different world where you now time comes to a standstill, where light goes around in circles, uh, where, where you know, physics goes crazy. And so you look, you're looking at the darkness of the event horizon. And that was just so um, yeah, mind boggling hmm. to, to do. And do these black holes, do they, do they live forever? Is there something on the other side of them? I know this would be theory, but I just wanted to get your, your take on that. Well, I mean, there is, sort of speak, a physical beyond, because you can go through the event horizon, but you, you would never be able to come back. So there is an inside that's, you know, in this universe that exists, but that's not accessible to us. And that's a big, big question. What's happening inside the black holes? But, you know, there is something that prevents us from knowing. Like, we don't know what's before the Big Bang. We don't know what's going inside, on inside uh, black holes. And so that's one of the big mysteries of physics today. And it's a big question whether we'll ever be able to break that barrier. This is where the big struggle of, you know, theoretical physics and experimental physics is now happening at the edge of black holes. So technology helped you guys get this picture. It wasn't just like one telescope that got this photo. It was several. Can you talk about that and where you see technology going in the future and what you hope to capture or learn that we don't even know about yet? Well, it's a good point. I mean, black holes are gigantic mass monsters, yet they are so far away that they are not bigger than a mustard seed in New York as seen from Europe, you know, just think like, like a, you know, a millimeter size. And you have to be able to read the New York Times from Europe, uh, such telescope you have to build. And we needed a telescope the size of the entire Earth to see it. And uh, in order to do this, you actually combine telescopes uh, and link them up. And so we took the world and uh, we gave the world that image back and it really embraced that image uh, in, in, a, in an amazing way, because th this really is a global collaboration. You need the entire world to, to work together. And in the future, you know, we need something, telescope that's bigger than Earth. And so we may want to go into space. We want to first build more telescopes on the ground and then go to space, build telescopes, you know, virtual telescopes bigger than the entire Earth and see, you know, black holes razor sharp. You know, like a Hollywood movie, we'd be able to see black holes and then maybe address this question, you know, what's happening at the edge? What's happening at the event horizon? This is, you know, a big theoretical question that the smartest people of this, uh, in this world are thinking about for the last 30, 40 years and haven't solved yet. So, Heino, this is where we, we'd uh, ask our jokey UFO question, but in the past uh, year or so, it's become more of a serious conversation with uh, reports from 60 Minutes and the New York Times, talking to fighter jet pilots, and, and you've seen more video than you've ever seen. And I'm just wondering what, what your take is, not so much on life on other planets, but do you think that there's something out there that is visiting uh, this planet, or is that something that we would clearly detect uh, from people and technology that uh, you have? Uh, you know, we astronomers are looking, of course, for transient phenomena. We're trying to, you know, hunt down things that are surprising. And, um, you know, it hasn't occurred to us yet, uh, something like that. And if you really look at the universe, the next place to be is so far away uh, that it's almost impossible that, that you know, 
regularly, you know, uh, aliens would visit us. So uh, this seems to be, to me, the least likely explanation. I'm pretty <laughs> sure we're going to find lots of interesting effects that, you know, are, are stunning. But I think aliens are probably the, the, the least likely answer will come out of all of this. It's a bit disappointing, um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, uh, I, I'm just a scientist, you know, it's, yeah. uh, that's well, all things. Well, I've heard experts you. say that it's not the grainy pictures where you're going to find out. It's people like you, I know, who have those giant telescopes. So if you're saying no, I'm with you. <laughs> well, well, we'll keep looking. I mean, okay, I promise. Okay. You know, we'll... <laughs> Thank you. The book is called Light Into the Darkness. And for more, follow Hino on social media. Great to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.